Previously on Live to Fish Outboard Repair. One thing I did notice, if you look down here, as I pump the primer, look at that. It's spraying all out. I didn't notice that before. I guess over here you don't see it so bad much, but when you really pull on that primer, I got a nice leak on that, and that could be creating a problem too. So let's uh, let's start this back up after I fix this leak and see what happens. Yeah, she's cold and she's missing a bit. Let me see here. Primer out. I'm getting a little bit of fuel. I can see the fuel coming from this damn gasket here. I knew I should have rebuilt that or sent in for, uh, some new gaskets for this. I can see it leaking a little bit. I don't like it. I can see it cooling here, right where the gasket is. Coming down here and cooling a little bit. Well, that means that that uh, carburetor's probably got to come back off again, so I can put a new gasket in it. Didn't notice that before. Didn't see it leaking there. But so we're definitely running better. days but it is pulling gas down at the bottom down there. And that's a lot of gas. I, I gotta do that. I gotta get up. Okay hey, YouTube. I had to uh, just change out the tank. My other tank got empty so I've got a full tank of gas here. Um, previously on the uh, last video uh, we had a some hoses that were leaking. This one was leaking. This was leaking a little bit down here. So every time I pump the primer you know, we'd get a leak and it would end up running down. It also leaked on the carburetor down here on the bowl. So I ended up pulling the carburetor back off, basically recleaning it with carb cleaner. It looked pristinely clean. Everything looked good. I replaced the O-rings on the uh, needle here on the mixture, air mixture screw. There was two O-rings on that. I replaced, uh, I, I took this off, the, the Welsh plug. Uh, uh, you know on top and also inside there was another one about the same size as this inside Removed it sprayed everything out took the jets again sprayed them out in there um, The jets down in here made sure everything was clear everything was good So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get an improvement. We had a lean sneeze condition condition on this um, So I don't know if it was carburetor related timing related or possibly the reeds. And I, I looked at the reeds with the carburetor off again just to make sure uh, the reeds looked okay. But you know, with the way that carburetor was gummed up and the, you know, the, the nasty fuel that was in there, uh, God only knows, you know, what might have happened to them reeds. Uh, maybe they're sticking a bit. Maybe this thing just gotta run a, lot, a while longer just to free those reeds up or, or you know, clean them off or whatever. But. Uh, if the lean sneeze continues, if it it seems it seems like it gets better as it warms up, and uh, I'm hoping it got I got rid of it by taking the carb off and cleaning it. I've got to start it now to find out. Um, once it's running, if it get it, it may have the same condition. I don't know. If it does have the same lean sneeze at, at cold startup, then I'm thinking maybe the reeds are uh, maybe there's a, a you know a reeds are off slightly or or out of, even out of spec maybe, but you know. It, Sometimes a lean sneeze, it goes away it, it, when it warms up and everything's fine. Uh, I did notice that the uh, lower spark plug in the back of the cylinder 
you know the top one was wet the bottom one was very dry or at least you know it looked it looked dry um, so maybe it wasn't getting fuel but I, I think now we'll see and maybe that'll help you know, maybe that'll this, you know cleaning the carburetor again it would, would uh, remedy that but you know there's a, a lot of debate on spark plugs and you know if they're wet or dry um, a lot of times you, you want to see a little bit of you know gas or fuel on them just to know you're getting lubrication but you know that bottom that bottom spark plug you know was pretty dry it had some lubricant on it but not not a lot but anyway we'll, we'll start it back up now and we'll see what we get um i've got uh i've, I've got it primed i got it ready to go um everything's primed i just got to turn on my little switch back here for my uh for my battery and we'll give it a crank see what happens I think my battery is getting a little bit weak. Let's pump it a couple more times. a bit. I was able to get this, this adjusted to where it, it tightens up a little bit, you know, for the crew or whatever you want to call that. I hold that throttle to loosen position. If it goes too far this way, it may start to want to, to die, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I've got it all the way back. 
you know, fast indicators, and uh, and uh, she's, she's starting to warm up now. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out pretty warm out of the exhaust. She's, she's idling okay. I mean, it's not, it's not, well, I, I'd probably like to keep it up on a higher, higher idle. But, it may be fine now. She seems to want to run a little bit smoother when it's between the two, uh, the two back ears back there higher on the cam, timing just you know, advanced a little bit more, so, I mean, I think it's good. I'm, I'm happy with this, I think uh, it will be too, and I put enough time into this, I'm not even going to charge him for the, uh, removing the carburetor again, that, that should have been, that was my fault with the leak on the, uh, you know, on the, on the float or on the uh, gasket for the, um, to the uh, carburetor it was leaking it should have been all replaced anyway i thought i could save them some money but like always when i, when I try to save a customer money I, it usually costs me more time and effort <laughs> and i have to go through it again anyway so probably from now on if i take a carburetor apart i'm going to just i'm going to do the, the gaskets and everything so it's done right so that i don't have to worry about it later and i don't have to do it twice so Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share. Um, you know, comment if you like. I, I, I would appreciate that. I mean, if you guys got any comments you want to make, I you know I, I try to respond back to all the comments. Not all, but every, not most of them. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, keep your motors running strong. You know, keep them tuned. Keep them clean. You know, change the spark plugs out, fog the engines when it's time to put them away, and you'll never have an issue. You stabilized fuel, that was the that was probably the biggest problem. You didn't use stabilized fuel and it was eight months old, almost a year old, and it just plugged this carburetor up terribly. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share again, and have a great one guys. Thanks. Just got some shots with the with the uh, cover on it. It's a little quieter. it up again. Perfect. That's the way it should run. Warmed up, boom, it starts. Full start may be a little bit rough, but hey, what do you expect? Go fire up. You just got to keep cranking. Pump that primer good. Get that fuel in there. Turn that over a few times and it'll, it'll fire. Make sure your throttle's up to, to fast uh, start and you're good to go.